Come on, work with me here. What are you doing? Come on, come on. Yeah, Shut know. up and go. All right, all right, all right, we're going. So we're not going to have any fun today at all, are we? No, nah, we're not going to have any fun. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, we're yeah. totally serious. Yeah, let's just, let's just pack it up and go home. Here's one of I'm going to talk about the robot just like this and point to this thing over here and then point to this thing over here and then I am done and going to my trailer. And give them a list. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're really going to have some fun today. This is going to be a great day. I'm excited to welcome you here to the Sovereign Clean Lab. I'm Richard Ward, CTO. You've met me before. You have not met this great guy. This guy is Sean Greer, and he is an amazing person. He's one of those guys I told you about that you're going to meet. And uh, Sean has got a great background, incredible technology. He has a systems and engineering degree and also an IT background. And um, he's also been in customer service 23 years, so he's quite... Imagine that. I think it's an oxymoron, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. IT guy in customer service. It is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we're we're excited for him to share this Nilfis technology with you. You know, you're going to see some things on the web about robots and people claiming that they know things about robots. And we just want to encourage you to challenge those people. And if you have somebody telling you something, reach out to us and, and let us know. Um, we've been at this 40 years and we have quite a bit of experience at it. And actually, you're seeing real robots here. These aren't made up robots. They're, they're sitting around. This is the Nilfisk SC50, mm -hmm. right? So these are real robots. Um, our technicians do real deployments. They go out into the field. Right now, um, Sean has done how many Nilfisk deployments? Oh, right? gosh, between 25 to 30. So that you should install 25 to 30 of these units. We do Nilfisk installments every single day right now. So you're talking to a company that actually does these installations, not just talks about them. So we're excited about um, sharing this information with you. Um, like I said before, if you have something, you have a question that you want to give us, please send us a, a question, chat with us, uh, send us an email, anything that we can help you with, we're happy to do it. Uh, so, Sean, as I was saying, has 23 years customer service experience, also a background. He's out doing installations. He's also done more deployments than 23. He's done over 150 of them. We figured about 150, correct. With four different manufacturers. So, again, he's very experienced with this technology, and I'm excited to introduce you to Sean Greer, who's going to go over the SC50 today. An amazing technology, amazing company. We're excited as we can be about Memphis and what they have to offer. And hopefully this video will be helpful to you as we move forward. So All with right. that, I'm going to hand it off to this wonderful guy. Well, thank you, Richard. Thank you, everyone. Again, my name is Sean Greer. I'm one of the senior deployers here with CyberClean Systems. As Richard said, I've done about 150 deployments uh, with four of the major OEMs we have, including uh, Brain, Minuteman, uh, Tenant. Now, this is a semi-autonomous robot that we do deploy. I want to talk a little bit about this guy to you here today, teach you a little bit about it. Now, one advantage to this robot is this robot is very good in environments where you don't have necessarily a lot of space for a larger sit-down robot. This is great in compact spaces, hallways, hospitals, and schools. It does fit in those smaller spaces and enables you to go ahead and have the cleaning ability of some of the larger robots, but on a smaller scale. You've got a 20 inch pad on the unit, a very common pad, so if something you might have in house already, it will fit on this unit. Uh, one great advantage to this robot is it has two modes that it can clean in. One is a strict follow mode, where basically you're gonna teach the robot where to go, and then it will repeat where you teach it to go in an area to go ahead and clean. It does also have a fill-in mode. Now the fill-in mode is great because all you'll do there is teach the robot the perimeter of a space, say the outside border. It's then going to fill in the interior of that space for you automatically. Now I will warn you, or not so much warn you, but just tell you, when you see it clean the interior of the space, it will make some turns that may, make, may, may not make a lot of sense to you, but that's the robot's algorithm figuring out how best to clean the interior of that space. Uh, now, one of the nice things to it, with the home markers on this particular robot, once you set them up, you pretty much are going to have an infinite number of routes per home marker. 
The way the nil fisk robot works is there is no set defined amount of routes per marker. You can have as many as one, as many as 10, and really, I mean, 50 and up. It is not impossible for this robot to do so. One of the challenges is the robot does not keep a record of what's called your start point, where your, your route starts from. You will need to keep a record of that, otherwise you might have a little bit of trouble down the road. It does have a special tone when it reaches the start point, a double beep, so you will know when you reach each of your start points, and you also have a single beep when you leave that start point. Also, you can see on the front here we have this light. This glowing light here is great because it will always let you know what kind of mode this is in. Now this light right now is more the normal mode. You will also see when it's operating in the autonomous mode, you'll see a light here in the corners that indicates when it's turning. It'll have a red light if it runs into trouble. And you will also see a flashing yellow light when the robot is more or less thinking about a space to make sure that it can go around areas without getting too close to a person or object. So on the robot, we also have multiple cameras on here and I can actually show you that real quick. So on the front here, we have cameras right here in the front and in here as well. Now these cameras are constantly looking as the robot is operating in the autonomous mode. And I can tell you from experience, this robot will get, get somewhat close to people and objects, but it should go around them every time. The safety systems in this machine are going to keep it from hitting anything when it's running in that autonomous mode. You do want to be careful around it, obviously, but you should be able to have it go around most objects without too much trouble. Now, in the event the robot does have an issue where it does get stuck, it will wait up to one minute and then it will do a, a light on the front to let you know it is stuck or it can't move any further because of a pallet, a person, whatever is blocking that path. So at that point, it will still need a person to be around the robot to monitor for those alerts. So you just want to make sure that you have someone in the vicinity of the robot. I mean, one of the things I do want to tell you guys is that this whole thing about robots being completely autonomous isn't necessarily true. The Nilfis robot is good, but it is semi-autonomous. It still needs someone to take care of it, to fill it with water, and to maintain it. Now, one of the things I do want to show you about the Nil Fisk, and I hope you can see it here in the video, and this is rather unique to this particular robot, it has four laser points on it. Now, they will be on the ground in front of the robot here, and they come out of the receptacles, which is approximately right here on the bot. Now, these are just simple commercial-grade lasers, not harmful at all. But what these do is these help direct the robot in the autonomous mode so it will see objects and people. And the Nilfisk, like I said, is unique that it's the only one that has these four lasers. So you're going to have basically one here on the left side, two in the front, and one on the right side. And you do want to keep an eye on these guys to make sure they stay clean. Just like with any other semi-autonomous robot, you do want to keep your lenses and cameras clean. Best way to do that, microfiber cloth. And I'll tell you this much, just in practice, never ever spray anything directly on these lenses. The reason why, it can soak in, damage those cameras, and then they're going to have to be replaced. So as I was saying with the pads on the Nilfis SC50, it is a standard 20 inch pad. Now putting the pad on and taking it off actually is very simple with this robot because unlike, uh, unlike others, there is no driver mechanism to hold it in place. It's actually held on with Velcro. So essentially you'll just get up under the robot and you can either use your hands I recommend using a stick of some kind to push the uh, pad off and essentially just put, uh, pull it off the, uh, dri the driving, excuse me, the driver to basically push the pad off of there and get it down on the ground where you can clean it and inspect it. When you're putting it back on, the main challenge there is to make sure the pad is centered on the driver to make sure it just pushes straight up onto there and that it's cleaning correctly. Now, as with as I was saying with the uh, four laser points on it, these also serve as what are called drop-off sensors. One of the concerns we've had on deployments is do we have to worry about the robot getting too close to a set of stairs, an escalator, or maybe even an elevator? That's where the drop-off sensors really come into play. These four laser points will sense if the robot gets too close to the edge of, say, an elevator shaft or a staircase, and it will let the robot's computer know, hey, we're too close. You either need to turn away or stop so you don't go any further into this potentially dangerous area. Now, two other pieces I do want to tell you about the Neil Fisk SC50 
is it does come with two keys. Now one is yellow and one is blue. The big difference between them is your yellow key is what's called a supervisor key. This is what's going to allow you to create new cleaning plans and delete them. Your blue key, on the other hand, is only going to allow you to run those cleaning plans once they are created. So that way you can limit who has control of the robot at a certain level of authority. You've also got an interesting thing with the steering column on this particular robot. The steering here is electronic steering. So it has very little feedback when you're piloting the robot. And I can tell you, the first time you get on this, it is going to feel very strange. You will not have any kind of feedback, such as in a power steering column. And it does take some getting used to when you first pilot this robot. So I'd recommend the first time you do it, try to go as slow as you can until you get used to that steering. Now, another advantage of the Nilfus SE50 is when you're filling this uh, robot to go and start cleaning. Now, where you'll fill it from is here on the left side where this cap is. One of the nice things is right behind the control panel here is a clear tube that'll let you see the water coming into the robot so you'll know just how much water is inside. So that way you can know exactly where the full mark is or if you only want to go halfway or three quarters. And it's a very nice feature that you don't have to ever worry about overfilling the robot and having the water spill out. So those are just some of the highlights of the Nelfisk Nil SC50 robot. I'm glad you spent some time with me getting to uh, learn about this guy. And of course, if you have any questions, you're curious about the robot, or as Richard was saying, you'd like to know more about what CyberClean does, how we can help, please contact us. We have our social media pages, our YouTube channel, our website. We're happy to reach out to you at any time and do what we can to help you out. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Again, my name is Sean Greer. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.